Hey guys, it's Mr. Cravo here. I'm going to be talking to you about lesson 11.6 in our third grade goal math curriculum. And really this is all about area. And we know that area is finding the shape inside in, uh, a figure. And we're going to be using multiplication today. So hopefully by the end of this lesson and the end of this video, you will feel comfortable being able to multiply to find the area of a rectangle. We've done arrays, we've done all of this stuff throughout the school year. Um, so it's just really connecting that multiplication work to area. Really quick, I always remember that area is a space inside because you can fill in the A's. And that perimeter is a space around an object. And I like to extend that T all the way around the perimeter. That's how I always remember. Um, and area, you multiply and perimeter you need to add all the way around the side so that's your quick review now let's take a look at this first problem it says christina has a garden that is shaped like the rectangle below rectangle each unit square represents one square meter so there's that's my unit of measure is a meter what is the area of the of her garden so area is the space inside of her garden there's a couple of different ways to do this. Um, one of the first ways is to count the number of unit squares in all. You can just count. You can count by ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So there's 18 square units. You may have counted a different way. You may have counted um, not by ones, but maybe in a more efficient, a faster way. If you're good at counting by threes, you can go three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen. That's one way. Another way is to, um, I wouldn't recommend counting by sixes. That's kind of tough, but maybe you see five, ten, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. There's, there's lots of ways that you can count by ones. Um, so the area is 18 square meters, and I would write that also like this, 18 meters squared. Because remember, we're counting the squares inside. So let's take a look at some other ways, especially the multiplying way. Um, the multiplying method is really the most efficient, um, and we'll connect it to addition also. So you can use repeated addition. We're going to count the number of rows. Rows are off to the side, so there's one, two, three rows, three rows of blanks. So how many are in each row? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, three rows of six. So there's six unit squares here. There's six unit squares in that second row. In this third row, there's six unit squares also. So really, three, six times, so six plus six plus six, remember that's repeated addition, that's multiplication, is 18. So the area is 18 square meters. So here is this third way. I really like this third way the most. Um, for you students that have mastered your multiplication, you'll find that finding the area of rectangles is pretty, is um, can be pretty efficient as long as you show your work. So we're going to count the number of rows, and there's three rows, just like I said. You should always show your work like this. Three rows of six, so there's three rows. There's six unit squares in each row, so it's three times six equals 18. Um, and we always do meters squared. Remember, I always want fact triangles. So your product or the biggest number goes on top, 18. We have three and then six. The total number of squares. The rectangle is like an array. How do you find the total number of squares in an array? Rows times how many in each? Or your length times width equals area. You guys will really see this equation a lot. I'll talk a lot about this equation also. So write a multiplication equation three 
times 6 equals 18, and the area is 18 meters squared. Um, a lot of this is a review for us, so it's really important that we continue to show our work when we're finding the area. Let's go on to a um, couple of other practice problems. So in this problem right here, go ahead and pause the video here in a second, and I want you to go ahead and count the Find the area, count the number of rows, see how, see how many are, units are in each row, and go ahead and solve this problem. And when you solve this problem, unpause the video for the answer. So you should be all done by now. Um, go ahead and you should have numbered the rows, and there's four rows, four times, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, you'll notice that I did the dinks to show how to show how I counted. And 4 times 10, 10, 4 times 10, 20, 30, 40. So that's 4 times. So the area is 40 square feet. I hope that you got this problem correct. All right, a couple more. Then I'll finish up. So here's this problem. And there's a whole bunch of blanks here. So you really got to be careful about reading the directions, just like always. So look at the figure. They're talking about this figure right here. How many rows are there? There's one, two, three rows. There's three rows of one, two, three, four. Okay, so I don't even need to put that. I know what three times four is. I can make my fact triangle. But I'm going to go through all the steps anyways. So I would add four three times. Look, four four, four, so that would be four, eight, twelve. My multiplication equation is three times four equals twelve, and then it's twelve square units, so I can go put that twelve right back up in my factory. Over here, go ahead and think about which method do you prefer. Do you prefer counting by ones? Do you prefer doing the repeated addition? Do you prefer the multiplication? It is important that we put the rows first if you're doing multiplication. All right, so now you're looking at um, problems two, three, four, and five. And go ahead and pause the video and solve these problems. When you're done solving these four problems, resume the video for the answer. This is two times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 2 times 7 equals 14 units squared. Number 3, got to label the rows. I forgot to do that over there. So it would be 3 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 3 times 5 equals 15 units. Oh, it's feet. So 15 feet squared. And this one is feet squared. Number four, you got to make sure that you're reading the directions here. So I see that I'm finding the area, and each one of these represents a meter. This is one, two, three, four. Four rows by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four times eight. And I know that four times eight is 32 meters squared. Very important that you put these labels. If you don't put these labels... Um, you're not going to get the answer correct, but more importantly, people aren't going to know what you're talking about. Number five is three rows. So it would be three times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three times nine. Uh, nines, I would use my fingers. I would use that nine strip. Um, three times nine is 27 meters squared. So there's 27 meters inside here, um, square meters. Um, so, boys and girls, today we talked about using arrays to find the area of a rectangle and i hope that you did really well i hope that this makes sense if it doesn't go back watch it again or come and holler at me